Hi there, my name is Sophie Williams and in this short video, I'm going to tell you how to avoid plagiarism and maintain academic integrity in your academic work. So plagiarism means using the work originally written by someone else and presenting it as your, as your own in your academic work. Plagiarism in your academic work can lead to academic misconduct and that is the reason you must avoid it at all times. No university or college in the world considers plagiarism as acceptable. So that is the reason you must always ensure that your academic work is not plagiarized. So plagiarism basically arises when you use as it is or just copy as it is the work, words or sentences which has been written by any other author under their own name without acknowledging the use of their work. So let me tell you how to avoid plagiarism in your academic work. So basically there are two rules to be followed. While it is considered as good to refer to books, uh, journals, articles, etc. written by other authors for the purpose of carrying out research on your topic or subject. It is not at all considered okay if you just use their words and sentences as it is and include in your academic work. That means that you must never copy the words or sentences from another author's work as it is and present them as your own. If you do that, it would be considered as wrong, unethical and would be considered as a form of cheating. So what you must do, whenever you are referring to the work of any other author, never copy the words as it is, write them down in your own words. So that is rule number one. Coming to rule number two, you must acknowledge the use of work of other authors. And how do you do that? How do you acknowledge that? by including references in your work. So whenever you have referred to any books, journals, articles, papers written by any other author in your academic work or you have taken any ideas or information from their work, you must provide a reference to the book, journal or article in your academic work and also include citation. So that's rule number two. I hope this helps.